he uh, he moved. Uh, me and him lived in my apartment, and um, he uh, he was a very weird, very weird roommate. We uh, we had actually given him the solarium or the sunroom or whatever, so he kind of had all this shit there. And we were trying to figure out where the fuck we were gonna live, you know, because we were going on the road as soon as we were done with the album, and uh, and then. Which meant we had to find some place to live because my apartment was being turned into, and this is true, the whole apartment building was being turned into a gay bed and breakfast. <laughs> it's very true. They called it the cottage. <laughs> and I swear to God, it was right on the corner of fucking uh, 20, was it 28th and uh, Cottage Grove, and it was right in the middle of the hood. <laughs> Here's this fantastic. This fantastic the cottage with this giant fountain out in the middle of it, and then right across the street, crack dealers. <laughs> but uh, before it was the cottage, it was our apartment, and um, we got to be really, really, really close, you know. And we we hung out a lot, we talked a lot. So when we went to Indigo Ranch, man, we were fucking stoked, you know. We were just like, it's gonna be fucking so great, you know. But Paul had an inherent fear of roller coasters. So, and I love them, by the way. I will ride every coaster on the planet, and I scream the entire time. I'm like, this isn't fucking fast enough. People are looking at me. done with the first album, and uh, Ross Robinson decided to take us to Disneyland. <laughs> Can you imagine Slipknot <laughs> at Disneyland? <laughs> it, was, it was fucking February, so no one was there, and it's just us, these fucking weirdos, and we were all in our, uh, we were, we were all in our blazers that had Slipknot on the back, you know, the first ones that ever were made, so we're just fucking running through, pushing shit, you know, we're just like, fucking Star Tours, you know, like losing our mind, and we just proceeded to hit every ride, and no one was there, so we were running right to the fucking front, we're like, let's do this, but again, you know, and we hit Space Mountain. Oh yeah. Now Paul was my co my my co-pilot basically. Paul had the highest squeaky scream you've ever heard in your life. All right. So as soon as he would get on there, he would go. He's like, and and this is every ride. No matter what my answer was, he would go. You're not gonna fuck with me, are you? <laughs> We 
did it, Dylan. <laughs> and I'm like, let's go over the fucking Matterhorn, dude. <laughs> You're not gonna fuck with me, are you?